scavenge supplies from your house and make sure the fallout shelter is well stocked. By the end of your run, no survival included. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, oh no, I want to begin that adventure. It sounds a lot less stressful than the last time we played this. <laughs> Jimmy! Okay, um. Uh. Huh. So that's not how it works. Alright then. Let's. Let's just, uh. Start that again. Where's Timmy? Timmy! Come here! Come here! I would. Kitchen, kitchen. Oh. Nailed it! Got the entire family. I finally get to find her name, or find out her name. Because if everyone remembers from the last time I played this, I couldn't find the bitchin' daughter. <coughs> Well, don't you look like a happy bunch of- Oh, look at all those achievements I got! Oh, you're gonna become an annoyance. So let's see what we've got here. Three bottles of water. Four cans of soup. A padlock. A rifle. And a checkers board. With some checkers. And all four of this, um, unique family. Hey, Dolores. How's it going? Got a, you've got a booger. Let's just get that for you. Alright, let's see where we're at with day one. Up. What? I'm confused. Up. What? Th did I win? <laughs> what did that say? Oh! No survival included. That's awkward. So, seeing as I clearly... Uh, <laughs> did good with scavenge... Let's... Let's do survival. A one-of-a-kind post-apocalyptic adventure. Survive in your fallout shelter with randomly selected supplies. I suppose that could be more interesting than me grabbing, basically, uh, <laughs> Dolores. Hi there. Um, let's see what we've got here. Um, what? The little boy is easy. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say it. The game said it. I promise. <laughs> Fat man. Now I know he's he's got a bit of a lard ass, but that doesn't need me. You have to, especially put it in red. That's just not cool. Uh, it's our bomba. Don't know what that means. All right, it's gonna be hard though. So something I don't know what it means being hard. All right then. Um, health issues are gonna be common. Fragile equipment. Great. Unwanted visitors and trouble. Four to six, four to six. Stocked shelter, some junk. What? Some junk. Okay. So two and four people. Let's begin. Ah. Well. The, the kids have clearly gone off to college. I'm just sat there. Um, Ted. Follow my finger. She's just pissed. She is absolutely pissed. I have so much food. Reasonable amount of stuff. All right then. Uh, day one. Just the two of us. There wasn't enough time uh, to get the kids, <laughs> but there. Surely this is just a drill, and they're okay, right? Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans, and e we'll even 
talked can. Some of us already do. <laughs> the only other person here is Dolores. Holy shit, Dad. Five o'clock shadow, you know. Uh, I get the same. I'll shave and then all of a sudden, like ten seconds later, I'll have a full beard again. Yeah. No questions about it. She's still so angry. Dolores is quite calm. Dolores is quite calm. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> Ted is, is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. Dolores is in pretty good shape. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to know. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. She's calm. She's very content. She looks very fucking angry, to be honest. <laughs> Who opened up that fucking can? Which one of you bosters did it? Go on. Tell me. I've got my eye on you bitches. We can take care of ourselves. <laughs> I'm glad two adults can take care of themselves. If there is one thing we need to do, it's to use our radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that, or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. <sighs> the latter could be an interesting uh, adventure for you. Uh, the first option sounds a bit more sane. Nah, sounds boring. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Thank fuck. Mutated rodents are attacking their supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. Uh, alright then. Um, don't know what to say to that. All of these options are pretty grim. Yeah, they are. <laughs> we could use spare ammunition or something else to get rid of uh, every one of these pests. Axe those bitches, and then cook the bump. On that very hot light bulb, I'm sure it'll work. Breathe calmly. One, two, three. That's better. Don't panic. Don't panic. We need to open the door. This isn't this th this instant, or we're all going to die. Um. What? Um. Okay. They sound like they're getting a bit agitated. So well, let, let them, let's let them open the door. Shit, then you're 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 fucked, so um huh. let's give him this the the uh the the brown thing that's called English work <laughs> suitcase. Fuck me, that that was a real awkward challenge. Oh my god! Ted! Ted! You got a radio! You fucking beauty! You've got a... You, you've got a... Just a little thing right there. There you go. What the fuck happened to you? Dolores had to release some uh, steam. Yeah. She fucking deflated. Ted! This is something I said. Ted has been sick for far too long and he was too weak to keep on going. He passed away in his sleep. I was going to make him go out today. What the fuck are you doing? Dolores' question is sanity is questionable. Dolores has rested. Yeah, she looks fucking out of it. This is probably the last time uh, you'll be going out, so let's see about taking pretty much everything you have. Um, could be a very interesting adventure. Oh, yep, yeah, no. That, yeah, fuck.